Michael Sean Wright here with Mr. Tony Hawk. T Mr. Tony Hawk, thank you for uh, stopping by Building 43 and the sure. Twitter conference today. So obviously your brand is global. You've embraced social media. You got on Twitter about nine months ago, and it's a way to really kind of just share a little bit about you and your passions, but I know you're really passionate about the foundation. Yeah, well, I have a foundation that we support public skate parks in low-income areas, and uh, I've been doing that for about seven years now. We've given away over $3 million to about 450 projects. And, um, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't base all my tweeting on that, but I do definitely throw it in there sometimes to just try to raise awareness and, and let people know, like, hey, you can get involved. You can get involved in your community. You can, you can donate money, and, and uh, we, have a new, um, we actually have a new uh, initiative where you can text um, ride to, I think, 90999. And, you donate five dollars to our foundation, and um, I told all my Twitter followers about it. And and uh, but like I said, I don't want to inundate them with that. I, I want to share other stuff that's fun as well. Do you think about that from a business standpoint? Of, I mean, your brand is your name. It is you who is who have built this thing, and so your audience and your your followers still stay connected to the person, the business, and the brand. Um. Yeah. I, I guess. Uh, I mean, I've been, that's just how it's been for me for the last, say, 15 years. People know me as, as a name, a person, but also as a brand. And, and so I don't try to approach it necessarily from the branding standpoint in, in my, tweet, my tweeting. But at the same time, I do want to let people know what projects I'm involved with. And a lot of times those are products I'm selling. And so, uh, so definitely, you know, that may look like some sort of shameless promotion, but it is straight from me and it's what I really am into. One of the great things is the advancement of technology, especially through your games, and you've really been active in the development process, watching them as they're coding it, as they're developing it, and saying, can we go a little bit further? Is there things that you're looking at right now on your workbench, if you will, of things that are just blowing your mind? Well, I think the new technology of, of video games in general, I mean all technology, but video games, are amazing. Just everything is, is wireless and motion censored, and, and because of that, I brought this idea to Activision to make a skateboard game where you actually stand on a skateboard deck that responds to your every motion, and there's no more controller. Um, it's a lot more active, but it's, it's you know, if you're going to make a skateboarding game, what better way to experience it than on a skateboard and feel like you're really immersed in it? And, uh, we've been working on it two years, it's about to be released, and it's, I feel like it's my baby, and, and I'm so excited to, to share this new technology um, and really utilize what's out there. Now, you're really involved with the, the park design. And so the way that the ride feels, the way that it's interpreted through a game. So are we ever going to see a park uh, that looks a little bit like someplace in D.C. because you're the only person that's ever, ever skated the White House? <laughs> yeah, the White House, is, it's not really that great for skating, to be honest. It was, it was like a, a lot of misplaced brick tile. So uh, I don't think I'm going to mimic that for any sort of game, but, but maybe, you know, have a little special level where maybe you, you skate through a hallway and that's about it. But uh, that was a lot of fun for me. You know, I was invited there on behalf of... Um, Father's Day, actually, we, it was a Father's Day initiative, and, and I brought my skateboard because anytime I don't bring it, people ask me where it is, and all of a sudden I had this chance to skate the hall, and I did it, got a picture of it, and boom, it blew up. <laughs> but we know how focused in, uh, and aware you are of the plight around the world, so that's bringing clean water to people, and it's also about sparking the imagination in children, and you talked a little bit uh, during the Father's Day event. Um, skating does that. The creative use of social media does that. How important is sparking creativity? Um, what do we have if we're not being creative? We got to think. We got to bring new ideas out there and, and think outside the box, so to speak. And, and uh, I really believe Twitter is a great way to do that because you get instant feedback from people, and it's like this. It's this momentum, and and it's the best focus group you could ever ask for. Now you must get asked this a lot. Is it really you tweeting? Can yeah. we see an actual real example of so that everyone around the globe knows that it really is you tweeting? Uh, all right, you ready? Right. Um, just finished the Building 43 interview. Uh, I do it through text quite a bit because it's, it's really fast for me. Building 43 interview at Twitter conference. How's that? Oh, that's perfect. Okay, thanks for having me. So it really is Tony Hawk. There you go. From Building 43. See ya. <laughs> All right. <laughs>